Hello students, this is the last part of the trigonometry, it is trigonometric equations and uh, let us understand what is trigonometric equation in this video and uh, see here you know the equations and uh, just uh, let us take one simple example x plus 1 is equal to 0 is an equation in an equation there will be two expressions and in the left hand side one expression and right side another expression equated by a symbol equal to and uh, similar to this in place of x if the trigonometric functions are replaced you will get a trigonometric equation just to see here the trigonometric equation similar to this is sin x plus 1 equal to 0 is a trigonometric equation let us take one more example 2x square minus 7x plus 6 equal to 0 is a equation here 2 cos square x minus 7 cos x plus 1 equal to 0 is a trigonometric equation 3x plus 4y equal to 5 is an equation of two variable similarly 3 sin x plus 4 cos x is equal to 5 is a trigonometric equation which contains two trigonometric functions and now this is about the trigonometric equations and uh, now the trigonometric equation the definition is like this equations involving trigonometric functions of a variable are called trigonometric equations and uh, now solution of equation first let us understand what is solution of equation later let us come to the solution of trigonometric equations and you just take the equation 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 and if I ask the solving this equation you can find the solution very easily and what is the solution for this equation and x equal to 1 by 2 is the solution for this equation and if you take the equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 what is the solution for this equation you can factorize this and get the roots of the equation and it is a quadratic equation and uh, you can tell the solution to this equation what are the factors here x minus 2 and x minus 3 are the factors and uh, the roots of the equation are x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 here there are two solutions for this equation now we can find the solution to this equation graphically you know the method of solving the equation graphically if you draw the graph of y is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6 and it is a parabola and the parabola will cut the x axis at two distinct points and that is the solution actually 2 and 3 are the solution to this equation now we can solve the same equation in another method that is also graphically we can solve like this also if you take the equation x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 and we can shift 5x and 6 to the right side and you can write like this x square is equal to 5x minus 6 now if you take y is equal to x square and y is equal to 5x minus 6 and here they are equal here therefore you can take y is equal to x square and y is equal to 5x minus 6 and if you draw the graph of these two functions on a graph sheet and it will be like this one is a parabola with vertex at origin and another is a straight line y is equal to 5x minus 6 is a straight line and this parabola and line will intersect at a point and uh, one point you can observe here and that uh, from that point you can draw perpendicular and you will get the value of x on the x-axis that is one solution x equal to 2 line will cut the curve at another point and uh, from that point if you draw perpendicular that is x coordinate of the point is the other solution that is x equal to 3 these are the solution of this equation this is the alternate method of finding the solution to the equation and if you understand this you can understand the concept of trigonometric equation actually the solution is very simple
but still to understand clearly i have given this introduction now you take another equation that is x square plus 1 is equal to 0 you know that there is no real roots for this equation and if you apply the same procedure graphical method of getting the solution and you will have x square equal to minus 1 and you take y is equal to x square and draw the graph of the function y is equal to x square and you can draw the graph of the function y is equal to x square and right side is y is equal to minus 1 you take y is equal to minus 1 and draw the line y is equal to minus 1 and clearly you can observe that this line and parabola will not cut each other there is no point of intersection and hence there is no solution for this equation and this idea is also required to understand the trigonometric equation now you consider the trigonometric equation that is sin x is equal to half and to get the solution of this and uh, just uh, you take y is equal to sin x that is left side and uh, right side is half y is equal to half and you draw the graph of these two function and first let us draw the graph of the function y is equal to sin x and everybody know the graph of the function y is equal to sin x because we already studied this in the previous session and sin 0 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 sin pi is equal to 0 and like that it continues and this is the graph of the function y is equal to sin x now you draw the graph of the function y is equal to half y is equal to half is a line which is parallel to x axis and if you take y is equal to k it is a line parallel to x axis and y is equal to half is a line parallel to x axis it passes through the point 0 comma 1 by 2 1 by 2 is somewhere here you can observe the cursor position and at this position there is a 1 by 2 and uh, it is a line parallel to x axis and if you draw the graph of the function y is equal to 1 by 2 and it is a straight line like this and this is the line and uh, now you can find the solution for the equation sin x equal to 1 by 2 that is you can find the point of intersection of the curve that is the y is equal to sin x and the line y is equal to half and there are many points and just uh, I'll show it particularly and this the line and a curve y is equal to sin x and you can observe this is the point of intersection you can see the here this is the point of intersection of one point of intersection of the curve y is equal to sin x and y is equal to half and from this point you can draw perpendicular to the x-axis and you will get a point on the x-axis and x coordinate of the point or the real number corresponding to this point on the x-axis is a solution to the equation sin x equal to half and that is pi by 6 you know that x equal to pi by 6 is the solution to the equation sin x equal to 1 by 2 still it will also intersect the curve at this point and from this point also you can draw perpendicular you get the another solution that is x equal to 5 pi by 6 sin of 5 pi by 6 is also is equal to 1 by 2 similarly it will cut the curve y is equal to sin x at infinitely many points and you can observe it will cut here here etc and i will specifically mention these points whatever visible here and uh, at this point it will cut and it can draw perpendicular x equal to 13 pi by 6 at this point also the line will cut and uh, you can draw perpendicular and you will get x equal to 17 pi by 6 and at this point it will cut and uh, you can draw perpendicular to x axis x equal to 25 pi by 6 and similarly x equal to 29 pi by 6 and it continues like this and also the line will cut the curve in the negative side of x axis and uh, here also there are many points and uh, you can observe that at all these points sine of x is equal to 1 by 2 now in particular if the solution lies between 0 to 2 pi it is called as the principal solution and remember here for this equation 
there are two principal solution x equal to pi by 6 and x equal to 5 pi by 6 because at these two points sin x equal to 1 by 2 and it lies between 0 to 2 pi and if you take sin x equal to 2 what happens with just here sin x equal to 2 means if you have to draw the graph y is equal to sin x and y is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 is a line parallel to x axis here you can observe and it passes through the point 0 comma 2 and that's why this is the line this line will not cut this curve at any point therefore there is no solution for the equation sin x is equal to 2 that's the idea of the solution of the trigonometric equation finally you have to remember this result that is principal solution the solution of a trigonometric equation for which 0 less than or equal to x less than 2 pi are called principal solution and if the solution lies in this interval then it is called as principal solution now you can write the principal solution of sin x equal to 1 by 2 and you know the solution for one solution for sin x equal to 1 by 2 that is pi by 6 and other solution is 5 pi by 6 okay and you have to take the solution in between 0 to 2 pi that is pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 are the principal solution for this now we come to the general solution the solution of the equation sin x equal to 1 by 2 and uh, what are the solution you know that let us write all this solution in a flower bracket like this that is pi by 6 5 pi by 6 13 pi by 6 and so on from the negative side also there is a solution that is minus 7 pi by 6 minus 11 pi by 6 etc and this set is called as general solution and the general solution is all the solution together we call it as a general solution but uh, this is a you know the representation of the set and if all the elements are written in a flower bracket which is called as a roster method we can express this set in a set builder form and uh, that is the expression involving integer n which gives all solution of a trigonometric equation is called general solution that means it is possible to express that solution set in terms of n where n is an integer and uh, it is possible to express it and which is called as general solution of the trigonometric equation and this is just an introduction of the concept in the introduction itself i tried to convince all the concepts in this part of the trigonometry thank you